I guess I'd started to buy a bit of secondhand and vintage architect furniture locally in Melbourne. There would seem to be a real shortage of it. So I kind of did some research for about six months in relation to that stuff. You know, I love it. Maybe there'll be other people that love it. And I thought this could be a great opportunity to, to do something that I'm passionate about. The first event I did, I invited every person I knew. I got an email and database started. I got Carlsberg to sponsor me on the night and, you know, ended up with something like 250 people there, which was phenomenal. And sold about 20 or 30 grand's worth of stuff on the night. So. Clearly it said to me at that point it was the right thing to do. 30 days later I flew out to Denmark and, and went and picked my own container. And that's how it started. I guess that was that was 10 years ago now. I think it was actually the 30th of the 3rd, so um, pretty much 10 years to the day. Great Dome is founded on the values and traditions of what is vintage Scandinavian design. We saw there was a huge opportunity in the market because of the fact that there were so many small boutique manufacturers in Denmark who were still producing the classic furniture. And we thought, this is great. We can still maintain all these values, but transition it to new so that we could grow the business and grow the brand on a multi-store level. And that's really, I think, been the key to the success of Great Dane's transition from vintage to new. But I guess one of the bigger, more kind of audacious things was get Great Dane involved in production. So I tracked down a very well-known architect from the period called Arna Vodder. Um, kindly agreed to meet me in Copenhagen and he was, he was gorgeous, he was lovely. And really what I wanted to talk to him about was the possibility of us working together. And the next two years was Arna and I, the manufacturer, um, working out how to produce his furniture and put it back into production with the same integrity and quality as the old product. We really wanted to do it properly and wanted to do it justice in relation to the contract market and we knew if we were going to do that we had to have a strong collection with depth, um, a clearly defined message about who Great Bank Contract you know, was and what the offer was and do something a little bit different so that people notice us in the marketplace. We brought Benjamin Hubert out from the UK, who's a really up and coming young designer who has an affinity with Scandinavian design and definite kind of aesthetic for that. I think really made an impact on the, on the day and really people took notice of, of what Great Dane was offering. wanted to work with some new designers out of Denmark. People like Mads Johansson, Norm Architects, Muto, those companies and those designers are all people who are pushing the boundaries of what is new Nordic design and produce some beautiful products that we really feel fit well with what is Great Dane today and what is Great Dane tomorrow. Hold your breath, make a wish. We really wanted to push the boundaries of what people's perception of retail was. So it was really important that we created a space that was exciting and moody and emotive and, you know, dynamic. Gary McCartney, who does our design, has done a wonderful job of creating that in the new Fitzroy showroom. People are already coming in and really kind of ingratiating themselves to the space, really enjoying the experience of what it is that has been created here. And it's really for them. If you're asking me what do I think is the essence of Great Dane and what it is today and what it's going to be tomorrow, I think it's about the integrity and the quality and the authenticity of what it is that we offer. You know, it's a unique curated collection of product, each of which has been carefully chosen to ensure that it represents those values. Whether it be a $12 candle or whether it be a beautiful you know, buck of our light from all so, or whether it be a violet and so for by on the so. All of them, you know, in their entirety, bring together what Great Dane is, but each of them individually represents the same values and, and that authenticity that is Great Dane. And I think that's, that's what Great Dane is about. Mm -hmm.